Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this last part uh, in this um, um, 2015, uh, rather not 2015, <laughs> 2017 February March IGCSE ICT Paper 2-1. Okay, so in the last video we were looking at data manipulation and we ended on step number 31 and um, in this video we'll pick it up from step uh, task number five which is mail match and we'll start with step number 32 um, and um, this we should wind up um, the um, it should wind up the uh, the paper so to say okay so um, a letter will be sent to customers um, whose finished products are ready okay so prepare a mail image letter using the M's 2017 mail.rtf as your master letter and the M2017 orders.csv as the source data. Okay, so let's go ahead and open these two files in question. Okay, so um, I have this one here. Um, let me see. Um, mail, 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 mail. This one, just double click it. Okay, enable editing. And then I'm going to import the source uh, file, okay? So which is going to be used more like the database, okay? So tutorials, and then um, what's the name of the source uh, letter or the source file? It's supposed to be orders.csv, which is this one. Okay, so now that I've imported this file, we need now to do step 33. So in the master letter, replace the debt with a field to display today's debt in the format DD, MM, uh, MM, and Y, 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 Y. So this is um, a full month name, and this is a full year, and this is two digits um, for the debt. Okay. So um, depending on what uh, your computer, the debt is, uh, what debt is set to. Um, usually some computers the dates are set to um, a single digit and and so on but I'll show you how you can get around that okay so let's go back to our master file and the dead field in question is this one we are supposed to replace it um, with um, so we, we're going to go to insert and then go to quick parts insert a field and then go to debt okay and then choose the date that matches the format you're looking for. So you have DDMMM, then you have this kind of um, format, um, then you have um, this kind of format, um, then you have this kind of format, this kind of format. Um, okay, but the format that we are looking for actually is this one. Okay, even though, even though, um, the debt here is showing as a D, the single D, but it is actually the debt that we are looking for. Okay, so you you need to um, the field code is supposed to be this one. Okay, so let me just add that to the field code. It's supposed to be D D and O. Okay, so so the debt is supposed to be that. So alternative F nine and the field code is supposed to be that. Now, what I did, let me just undo this because somebody will be asking, why did you have to do that? Okay, um, let me go back to the question first of all. We were told that um, the date is the date supposed to be this. Okay, the format is supposed to be this. But if you come to access, um, rather not access, to Word, my Word is set to use a different format. Okay. Um, but again, give the exact debt that you are looking for. So if you go to insert and then quick parts, field and debt, um, and then select the debt in question, you notice that the debt has actually one D, but it is actually the debt. DD means two digits for um, the debt. And then uh, four characters there would mean the full name of the month. And then four characters at the end there would mean the full year. Okay. So notice how there's just one d there but in my question i'm told that they should be in this format okay so what i do usually is to just go to field codes and then just modify the field by adding one single d at the end there and say okay so when you add the d there and say okay 
um, you will see that it will be DDMMMM, which is the exact format that is being looked for in the question. If you hold alternative key on your keyboard and hit F9 on your keyboard, you should see that the date in question is actually um, 22nd um, July 2017, which is actually today's date. And this is just about 14.35. Okay, so I hope, guys, that is very clear. Um, if it's not clear, kindly pause the video or rewind it and... and and um, go back there now next question we're supposed to insert relevant merge fields from the data source file to replace text in the chevrons and um, ie um, um, field okay so just come back here and all these that you see there now you must replace them with corresponding so go to mailings and then merge fields and then this one is title then get the first name so this one will be first name then get the last name so this one should be surname and then address one okay I can hold my shift and just do that address one which is this one then you have postcode this one then you have town which is this one then you have first name dear first name um, which is this one and you have product code product code which is that one and the rest we're just going to um, then it says add your name center number and candidate number as the originator of the letter so come here and um, just at the bottom here, you're going to add your name. So Chikasa Evans, ZM556001. Okay, you are the originator of the letter. Okay, so check, uh, sp um, spell check and proofread the letter. You can do that. Um, so F7 on your keyboard, and um, this is a noun. So just ignore all instances of this. Ready. Um, so select. I'm pleased to inform you that your description, whatever, so we haven't yet changed for description here, so we need to change for description. Let me just do that um, so that we don't forget. Um, so just come here, Mage, and put description. Okay. So we are pleased to inform you that your description, whatever, with product code is now ready. So this is supposed to be ready. Okay. Remember, we've been talking about ready throughout. Um, so change. And then this is supposed to be collection, so change as well. And the rest of the part is supposed to be um, grammar. So grammar, don't change the grammar, just leave it as it is. Okay. Um, so next thing that we're supposed to do is to save the master letter. Okay. So display the field codes. So let's save the master letter. Just hit on save, and then display the field codes. Now to display the field codes, you need to um, hold alternative F9 and you will see the field codes displayed so all these are field codes and you need to do that okay so once you display the field codes then place in your evidence document screenshot showing the code for the format of the dead field okay so come back here and just get a screenshot of this okay so the format of the dead field is actually this one so I can emphasize and do that that's the, the good part of light shot so just get this one and paste it in your evidence document okay next we are supposed to um print five print your master data with the merge field displayed okay so um the master letter with the merge field displayed okay so just go ahead and print file print and then print that one okay Actually, this one I was even supposed to crop out this this other stuff, okay? So just format and crop out this stuff. You don't need um, this other stuff. You just need for the debt, okay? Um, because this one is just to show the debt field. So just crop out this and this, and that should be perfectly fine. So the next one is to just print the master letter um, with the merge fields. So just go ahead and print and just print this one I won't print it for now um, then the last part um, um, is supposed to merge 
and print only the letters for customers whose products are ready but not yet delivered. So delivered should be nope and um, 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 ready should be yes. Okay. So come back um, to here and then now you're going to hide the merge fields. Um, you're going to select or edit recipient list and go to filter. Okay. And then here you're going to filter by ready. You, it should be equal to yes. And then delivered should be no. Okay. And say yes. Okay. And these are the fields. So you're going to, um, we're going to send to customers so which means we we need to actually um, um check or preview the results okay so preview them and then go ahead and print these um, um i don't know there are how many there are three letters so go ahead and print them okay right so you can um, merge and finish and then you have three letters and um, so merge um, and then um, you can print the documents and then or you can finish individual documents and blah, 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 blah. okay so that should be fine um the last thing you're supposed to make sure that your name center number and card and number um, appear on each of the merge letters and this is what we did um here and we have our details on this letter okay so thank you so much um i think this marks the end of um paper two by the way don't forget to print your evidence document in the exam um, it's very important and make sure that um, the information, your details appear on the evidence document. So thank you so much for watching my videos um, for this week. And um, um, uh, remember to subscribe, guys, um, to give this channel the support it deserves and all. Like I always say, I don't get paid for doing these videos and all. So <laughs> I just do them for fun and um, so that you guys can really also enjoy um, um, ready uh ready what <laughs> i wanted to say something now I've forgotten okay so i'll see you in the next video where we're going to start looking out for paper or working out um, paper three and thank you so much god bless you